Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, I've been requested, someone was asking me if, if you're able to install like Angry IP Scanner on Kali Linux or any Linux distro, they're having some problems. And I actually have it on my laptop, but I want to install it on my desktop today and we're going to scan it. I'm going to load up a Windows machine so we can see the scan and you know everything working and all that stuff. So I haven't installed it yet on this VM. So we're going to do this together. So if you're ready, let's get into the video. Thank you. Welcome back. So this is my Kali Linux box. This is where we are going to install the Angry IP Scanner. And I want to, you know, I left a few settings as is just so you can see some changes. We're going to do this. I have a uh, Parrot OS box and I also have a Windows 10 box. We're going to get to in a minute when we're doing our scan. Okay, the first thing is, the first things first, this video is about installing it on Kali Linux, installing Angry IP Scanner. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So let me, um, Make sure I have everything open. All right, so let's go to the website. Just go to angryip.org. And it's very simple. It's a very simple, straightforward um, install. So we're gonna hit download, okay? So once we go to download, we have download for Windows, we have download for Mac, and we have download for Linux. In this case, we're gonna do the Debian. So we're gonna do the DEB package, okay? Once that downloads, it's gonna give us um, Give that a second. Okay, so let's save this. Save it. All right, so now it's going to go here. Once this is done, we can open up the folder. Okay, come on. Open the folder. It's probably running a little slow because I have some things running. Uh, come on. You can do it. All right, here goes the install. It's in my downloads folder, so let's go ahead and minimize this. Minimize this bad boy. And now let's just open up a, um, not that. Uh, let's just open up a new window. All right, let's bring this over. Let's go zoom, 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 zoom. Want a baby go away? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, all right, so I just do an LS. So let's go ahead and we're going to CD into downloads. Downloads. LS. So now we see the IP scan file right there. All right. So the first things first, we're going to do DPKG space dash install for I for install. And then we're going to install this guy. Copy, paste, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. All right. So let that do its thing. Let it um, install. And while that's installing, we're going to go ahead and open up another browser. I mean, another terminal. And I want to really, really quick, I'm going to do an if config to see. Um, yeah, it's overloading things. So let's make this a little bigger so you can see. All right, so right here, we're on the 192.168.99.8 network. All right, so let me, let me get out of here for a second. Because I just, it's just a virtual machine that I had full screen. So if we go to over to my Parrot box, okay? So actually, before we do that, let's go back here. So the way I have my network set up for my Oracle boxes is if we go to device, network, network settings, I actually have InfoSec Pat. It's a NAT network that I set up, okay? So if we go, to, if you have it as normal NAT, it's going to be like 10.0.2.15 or something like that. We're going to go check right now. Um, so like this one is on this, the, the default NAT settings. See NAT, it's not on InfoSec Pat. Um, see, just see that's InfoSec Pat. We're going to put it there in a second, but you see how it's on NAT. So now let's open up um, uh, the terminal and do an if config over here. So now you, yeah, 10.0.2.15. So this will not be able to, it's on, on two different networks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change the settings, okay? So we're gonna put this on the 192.168.99 network. And how we're gonna do that is go back into devices, network, network settings, um, attach to NAT network, InfoSec Pat, that's perfect. Now save that. Let's see if it, uh, 
There we go. 192.168.99.9. Okay. So the other one was uh, what was it? Dot eight, I think. Dot eight, I think that was it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So, and we'll do the same thing really quick with the Windows machine because if we go to my Windows box, and we do CMD here, and if we do an IP config, we're on that same network here. Okay. And if you can't see it, I'm sorry, let's make this bigger uh, font and let's do 24. Whoa, there it goes. All right, so let's do the same thing really quick so we can see this, f this application fully in action, okay? So we can scan the, the whole network. Let's give it a second. There it goes, perfect. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So now this one's dot ten. So we got dot eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So let's go back to our Cali box. All right. So this should be installed. So so now if we go to applications, usual applications, internet, use internet, 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 and we see it right here. And let's go ahead and minimize this and minimize this so we can close this so, so this is my host name for my cali box this is the network that we're in this is why we switched the other two networks so we're going to do dot zero to dot five right i mean not five what was it dot ten so let's do dot twelve okay so we can scan it and we'll see actually i don't know why it ran the whole thing all right so you see dot eight dot nine and the reason why dot 10 10 was the windows machine right let me say something uh doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah so i can tell you right now let's try to ping it let's just minimize this really quick open a new window and you know what let's just open my the other window perfect let's try to ping 192.168.0 99.10 it's not going to ping because windows firewall is on okay so let's go ahead and fix that real quick i want to show you how to do that go ahead and just type in firewall and then we can go to um, windows defender firewall and windows 10 and then we can just say uh doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops, not. off off boom bada bing bada boom bada boom bada bing now we should be able to ping there it is you see now if we cancel this let's open up this guy again and we'll rerun it again and this one should go blue um yeah there it goes boom windows 10 boom boom so the, so now we see the hosts in um angry ip scanner so that's pretty much how you install it it's very very simple um i like this tool because it's really quick and easy to scan a network and you know we can export the results so export all we can just do i don't know test dash paths network okay and then we can just throw it right on the root that's fine and now let's minimize this let's go back here so we are on the root so if we do ls we can see we should see this guy right here so if we do cat test we can see the results right here. Bada bing. It's cool, right? So this is how you get, um, let's minimize that. This is how you get Angry IP Scanner installed on your Kali box. This is, can go onto Linux Ubuntu, um, Parrot OS, any kind of li Linux distro. And this is a Debian base, so that's why we chose the Debian base. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you know, found some information um, beneficial. So if you like, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And um, like always, I really appreciate you checking me out. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.